Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my Project Pan update. This is my first update for my Project Pan in 2020. Um, and I've actually made some really great progress. So I'm excited to share this with you guys. So let's start out with the two that I haven't really made any progress on. So that is the Do Our Forever Foundation. I haven't used this once since I filmed that video because the shade is quite dark for me. Excuse me. The shade is quite dark for me, so I'm waiting until it warms up a little bit. And then the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. The only time I've used this foundation since is today. And I don't think it looks terrible on camera, but in person it's it's pretty dark. Um, so I am going to wait until it warms up a little bit to make some good progress on those. But um, yes, everything else though, we've made some good progress. So my Kylie blush, um, I have not hit pan yet. But um, the imprint from the like water droplet things, especially in the center, is like almost gone. I can definitely see I'm starting to dip. Um, there's no pan, but like I definitely a dip started. So really excited about that. Making some good progress there. Okay. So next up is the Pure Bronzing Act Matte Bronzer in Light. So. When I filmed the last video, I didn't even have pan on this. Like, right after I filmed that video, I hit pan, and then, like, it just started going, like, really quickly. Um, like, I've never had a bronzer that disappears this fast in my life. Um, if you look at one of my videos, what video was it? I can't remember what video it was. I'll link it down below. I show you um, this bronzer, and it's like, some pan has gone, but, like, there's still... Some product left. Um, I will say a little bit of this like chipped off like as I was using it once I hit pan a little bit chipped off but not a ton like I really used most of this product. It really is almost like the texture of like a powder like a pressed face powder um, because those go pretty quickly for me. I've never had a bronzer disappear this fast in my life. Um, so there is a teeny tiny bit left around the outsides but for the last week and a half, I've been using like a very like chiseled brush and have been going in at the edges and I'm not really getting any product out. So I think I'm calling it quits on this, you guys. But also like not really quitting. Like I feel like I accomplished this. This is a pretty big deal. Um, I've never used up a bronzer that fast in my entire life. So to replace it, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I realize this is like a much bigger like project than this. Um, but this palette is so old. It's so old. I think like at the end of 2020, I need to throw it away. It probably should be in the trash now, but it doesn't stink. It's fine. So I'm just going to use this as much as I can this year. And then at the end of the year, I'm going to throw it away. So I pretty much know that I won't use these two shades unless I use them like as eyeshadow or something, which I might do from time to time. But really like I'm just gonna kind of focus on getting as much use out of this as I can so I can use this to set under my eyes this is a good contour shade and this is a good bronzer shade for me um and then this I don't really like like a yellow banana powder under my eyes but we'll figure it out I'm just gonna try to get as much use out of it as I can because I really haven't used this a ton and it's getting pretty old so adding this to my project pan then, for primer, I had the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I really love this primer. This is a sample, but I did finish this up. You can see that. So, in its place, I am adding the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. The only bummer with this is there's no way to tell, like, my progress. You can't really see how much uh, is gone. But it's already, like, there's a good chunk gone. Um, this I feel like will take me a while though. I tried to pan this last year, just not in a project pan, not like officially, but um, it took me a while and I kind of gave up on it. So uh, we'll see. I'm gonna do my best to go through this, but yes. The primerizer I'm not done with yet. I have been using this like all week and it's not making a huge dent. This is such a thin product. You don't need a ton of it, um, but I'm gonna continue to use this. I'm hopeful that this will be gone by the next project pan update but we will see and then the Milani make it last setting spray so it started out here so there already wasn't a ton of product I hate giving up on this because there's such like a decent amount of product left but the sprayer has gotten terrible like you know when you get to the end of a setting spray it gets kind of squirty and you have like chunks of like droplets of setting spray on your face this is worse than that. Like, it's really bad. It comes out, like, in a big glob of water, and then, like, nothing. It, 
it's pretty bad. So I am getting rid of that, but I am starting on the new, well, this isn't new, but the Catrice Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. And there is still a good amount left in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right there. So I need to draw my line on this. Once I find my Sharpie, I don't know where it is. There it is. So yes, those are my what? Five products? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Plus the foundation. Seven products that I'm working on this year. Um, I'm going to try to update y'all every two months if I remember. So like I said, I feel like I've made some good progress, but I now added some things in here that are going to take a lot longer. So we will see. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like Project Pan videos, please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on my future videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.